Ben Cooney has officially resigned as Parramatta coach. Here's what he had to say a short time ago. Despite what has already been reported, uh, I've decided to resign from my position as senior coach of the club. I feel it's the best option for everyone concerned. The club gets an opportunity to move forward and I know it's of great relief uh, for my family. Uh, for a number of reasons, some about timing, some about opportunity and some about best fit. I've been able, unable to achieve the success I wanted for the Parramatta Eels and its wonderful supporters and fans. And I think it's time to make a change. I feel I've tried my absolute hardest and best that I could have and have always been mindful to act with integrity and, in, and with honour in the most difficult of circumstances. I would like to thank the playing group and the staff for their effort and what has been a very tough year for us, for us all. <coughs> what does the future look like for me? What this decision does, it gives me an opportunity to be more focused with the Kiwis and assisting the New Zealand Rugby League with the development of the game in New Zealand. I might start with trying to convince some Kiwis to play for New Zealand. First up, um, this is a role that I've always been very passionate about. It remains for me to say that I'm grateful for the experience that, you know, that Roy and the board have given me, uh, which is one that I'll certainly learn a great deal from, and the challenge that the senior role has provided. I wish the Eels all the best for a success successful future, and I look forward to my ongoing investment in the great game of rugby league. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'd just like to say that um, the, 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 the playing group, you know, supports Steve's decision. Um, and I suppose what, you know, everyone thinks about is results. Um, but, you know, the amount of work Steve puts in behind the scenes, and um, I think he's got in this club, um, back to where it needs to go regarding our junior football, our junior reps and our, our grassroots level. Um, and on behalf of the playing staff, we just we wish him all the best in, in the future when it comes to the New Zealand Rugby League. Stephen, how long are you staying on for? Um, I'll um, do training today and, and, and tomorrow and, you know, um, you know I'll, I'll have a sit down with um, you know, with Bob and Roy, and see you know see what um, see what that looks like over the next few weeks. Steve, look at the drain and emotional. It's all becoming too much. Well, I thought it looked alright today, eh? <laughs> 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 no, oh, oh, mate, it's been, it's been a difficult. It's been a real difficult, you know, um, you know, four months to be fair, and um, um, you know, it's been really challenging at times. And but um, again. It, I just said, you know, I just thought, you know, the best thing for myself and, and the family and the club is, is, is to move forward, and, and um, you know, that's the, you know, that's the only way I can look at it. It's entirely your decision. My decision, yeah. See, this club's been through five coaches in six years. Can any coach be successful here? The way it is at the moment. Again, I, I, you know, that's not, you know, that's not for me, you know, to make a, you know, to make a judgment on that, and um, you know, um, or, or, like I've said in my statement, you know, I'd come, you know. With all intentions to do, you know, the best job that I possibly could, and you know, I leave feeling that I, you know, that I did that, and um, that I tried to do that, and um, so yeah, I'm, you know, I feel, I feel uh, a, a bit of relief in that sense that I, you know, that I tried my hardest. Did you get enough support in the boardroom? Again, you know, you know, from my from my point of view. We could go through a thousand reasons why, and you know why not, and how come, and but you know I'm not here, you know, to give you all those reasons today. I'm, I'm here to tell you that you know I tried my hardest, and um, you know I think it's time for a change and um, for the club to move forward, and, and, and for myself to you know to move on. Mate, as a captain of the club, you see a lot of coaches come and go. Does the playing group feel ashamed of it? Ashamed, probably. I don't think that's the word to use, mate. We're very disappointed because, you know, when it comes to the crunch, you know, we're not producing out in the field. Um, so, in a way, I, yeah, I suppose we feel partly responsible, yes, for the results where we've been giving out, definitely. Disappointed, mate. It's, it's happened a few times. Um, as, we, as Steve said, you know, the amount of all 
the amount of work, hard work Steve puts in along with his coaching staff and then not to get the results, um, it's disappointing. Yeah. When you came clear enough, mate, did the players have confidence in Steve? They had, they had full support from the players, yes. Did you guys try and say, look, we think you should stay? Um, well, we, we found out when everyone else found out. So, um, maybe it would have been, we never had the opportunity. So. Did you get to a point where you just didn't have any more answers? As far as where the side was going and what you could do with them? Um, you know, you know, regardless of how dark it looks, I always try and you know try and find you know try and find the light. And you know, for, for me, you know, the answers is simple. What I you know spoke about, you know, with regards to our junior development and you know what we've seen over the last probably 12 months at this footy club is you know the emergence of you know a Mitchell Allgood. He's gone from a you know kid who I wouldn't even wouldn't even know who who he was to you know playing rec footy this year for City and you know Ken Co's probably the lowest paid winger in the in, in paid winger in the competition and Matt Ryan and you know Chase Flair and guys like that, Ryan Morgan. So again that's for me that's the future. But um, uh, we've got some wonderful talent coming through at, at a younger age but again, you know, it's it's about results today and, and unfortunately, you know you know, or, or or just, you know, we're not gonna get an opportunity to see that for probably, you know, twelve, twenty four months. See what was the tipping point? For you, was there a moment where you decided it was time? There's been a few, to be fair. Um, there's been a few, you know. And again, you know, I, I, um, I'll, I'll blame I'll blame my wife today, but um, it, you know, it's been. It's been <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's been it's been you know it's been very tough on the family. You know, she she um, it, it's um, you know it's a challenging role in itself. You know, um, the paramedic job and. Um, you know, just with the attention and the pressure that you know comes with it, and um, you know, my wife would rather be out on the farm somewhere, and um, it's, you know it's, it's been a real challenge for her in the in the family. So um, um, you know, when you're not getting the results and you're going home, and you know things are tough there too. So um, you know, it, it makes it makes it pretty easy to be fair. Has that been the biggest eye opener, the scrutiny that this club brings? Um, It's, I think it's like anything, um, Josh. You know, when you, you know when you're allowed to you know to do your job, you know, and, and just focus on, on on getting your job done, then you know, um, then that certainly makes things a lot easier. But um, I know it comes with the territory of you know of an NRL job. I think um, but more in particular, you know, this one. Um, um, but again, that's you know that's part and parcel. It's certainly been a it's been a learning experience in that sense. Take a couple more guys. Steve, Steve, can you just clarify whether your your family was targeted with abuse at all because of the results in the local perimeter area? It sounds like it was uncomfortable for them out in public with the kids. No, no, not at all. No, not at all. No, no, no. Um, my, my, wherever I wherever I played and you know wherever I was part of a football club, my wife hardly ever went to the footy anyway. To be fair, so. Um, um, like I said, you'd rather be out somewhere on a farm or um, just away from it all. So. And do you see yourself perhaps <coughs> resetting in New Zealand to give more time to the, the kids you um, well, That's it. You know, that's certainly an opportunity. You know, it's a big, probably, I'd say, 18 months for New Zealand Rugby League in the sense that you know we want to you know try and defend our, <laughs> a World Cup in the back end of 2013, and there's been some real progress in in, in our game back home. Um, and you know, like I said earlier, I need to try and convince some Kiwis to play for the Kiwis. So, um, and, I, and that you know that requires energy and time, and um, you know potentially that's a that's a role, um, a full-time role, which you know which I think um, I'm very passionate about, and um, which I could you know could easily slip into. Most of um, Ricky Stewart, the man to turn his you like to see him coach here and then I'm going. I've got seven weeks of rugby league left, mate. Seven weeks left, Nathan. How does it feel to be Andy on this night? Um, you know, probably not, not ideal, but, you know, as I've said for a long, long time, you know, my job is as a rugby league player to, to play rugby league um, and go out there and if that means winning, well, so be it. If that means losing, well, that's what you've got to deal with as well. Um, it's been a bit of a a little bit of a disruptive year, um, but you know I've got to go out there and with the rest of the boys on the weekend and just and and do our do our best on the field against the storm on the weekend.
I think the important I think the important thing, you know, and I'll just cut in there with you know with Nathan, you know, for me, you know, I'm I'm pretty much you'd be the same um thinking as, as I is that you know, I, I won't remember Nathan, you know, for the for the amount of games that he's played or the footy that he's played. I I'll, I'll remember Nathan for the character that he is and you know, what he's done for for our game as a whole. And, you know, I, I think that's important to remember and, and um and that, you know, he, he brings so much more to our game than 320 plus games. It's, um, it's the way he's carried himself throughout his whole career, and um, you know I, I think we all should, you know, we all should focus on that more so than, than the other. Last so question, you, guys. Last you, question. Obviously, you're going to have coach aside tomorrow night for tomorrow night's game. And you spoke. Yeah. Beyond that, I mean, it was a bit vague before. He's still, he's still coaching the side. Through the weekend and into next week, or what's the go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you made that something. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll sit down with, um, you know, the chairman and, and um, you know, the chief executive, and you know, have, have a think about. You know, I think my wife, she's got you know, 20 months of chores that I've that I've got to um, clear up in the backyard. So, um, you know, that might take up a bit of time. But again, it's not, you know, it's not something I've, I've thought um, deeply about at this stage. Um, we'll. Um, I'll make a decision on that you know, early next week. Would you see out of season? Sorry? Do you fear for this club's future where it's going? And... No. No. This is, a, um, this is a great club. Always will be. Um, you know, we've got great fans out there. And uh, no, I don't, I don't fear for the, the future of the club. No, I think we've got great young guys coming through. We've got a great, um, you know, great juniors, great picker juniors. Um, so I think we're. Um, even though we're not sitting that well at the moment, I think um, the future is looking bright. You know, Steve's done a lot of hard work to try and get things back where they used to be, and um, uh, he'll leave here with knowing that, you know, he's he's put some good things in place. Guys, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks very much, Steve. Mate. So there you have it, Stephen Kearney calling time on his coaching career with the Parramatta Eels after what's been a very difficult period for both himself.